Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to move sexy if you're a beginner. With these three simple movements you're going to look amazing on the dance floor even if you cannot dance really well. If you're excited for me to dive in, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. If you want to dance better in social settings, this is the place to be. And if you don't want to learn all of this by yourself, if you would like to build the skills and have the confidence to be able to do anything on the dance floor, at the end of the video I will tell you how you can work with me online inside my online program Confidence Through Dance. This way you can join thousands of students who already learned with my method over the past 16 years. Students like for example Betty who went from stiff and uncoordinated to looking like this in just a matter of weeks. On the pole, that's the way she pays the wish. Better watch your soul, cause you know they trying to get it. Yeah. First movement we're going to do today, um, it's going to be a little ticking action. This one is in place, so it's perfect to do if you're wearing heels, nice and comfortable. Um, we're going to start low, so the knees will be slightly bent. And then what I want you to do is just bring the hip kind of sharply up to the side. We have a little ticking action going on, but this is not everything, this is just the beginning. Um, what happens here is you want to almost throw the hip up, but then stop it like halfway. So it doesn't go up all the way. You're not moving it. Um, you're not making the movement very big, but you kind of stopping uh, the hip from going too high. And that creates that slightly sharper movement. So if you want to, by the way, if you want to learn this movement in more detail, I have a tutorial uh, on ticking. I will post it in the description. So check it out. But today what we're going to do with that motion is not only will bring the hip up but we will also twist the body as we do it so if i'm bringing let's say my right hip up i'm going to twist my pelvis to face the left corner from there you're switching to the other side left hip goes up you pivot to the right one two three four five six seven eight Always, always, always twist away from the hip that goes up, not towards it. That would be very hard to do. But if you're bringing one hip forward, the body is adjusting automatically at the same time. And then you switch. So do that a few times. Notice that I'm not twisting all the way. I'm not facing the side wall, just a little angle. I'll show you a couple of arm options that I'm going to be using. So first of all, if you're shy, if you don't want to bring attention to yourself, Feel free to have your hands resting on the thighs um, just for a few seconds. And then if you are comfortable with the arms, you can bring them up slightly, hold them in one position and then down. So we'll be doing all of that. And down. If you don't want to do the arms, it's perfectly okay to just focus on the hips, let the arms be slightly bent, and let them do their own thing. Going ghost, I ain't trying to stay up on that wide road. Cause I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 nah. For the second movement, we're going to use almost pretty much entire body. So for this next move, we're going to start with the shoulder roll to the back. So you're going to lift the shoulder slightly and let it go back like this. But that's not everything. <laughs> it will look very weird if we try to be sexy moving just the shoulders. But the second movement we're going to add on top of it would be the chest out. So notice what happens here. When my shoulder travels back, I'm pushing my chest forward. The belly goes in. It doesn't have to be a huge move, but the shoulder kind of initiates the chest going forward motion. See? So it doesn't look like much right now, but that's a start. And to finish it off, after the chest goes forward, all you're going to do is you're going to bend both knees slightly. So to put everything together in slow motion, it looks like this. Shoulder, chest, drop. Again, shoulder, chest, drop. Okay, let's try it on the other side as well. You can pick whichever side feels more comfortable. You don't have to do it on both. So shoulder back, chest out, drop and then you come up to start again shoulder chest drop one and two one and two so i like to think of this movement as like a almost like a fake body roll type of move because you don't have to do all of this 
to make this movement look smoothly. The shoulder and the chest, that creates an illusion of almost like a half body roll, and then you're dropping. Let me show you on this side again. Shoulder, chest, down. Please be aware that the chest doesn't like to move. So it might not look so smooth right away, this movement, okay? So definitely you want to practice some chest isolations. I'm going to link the video on that below as well. This is how you loosen up that part of the body that never likes to move. Let's try uh, four times on one side, four on the other. Five, six, seven, we have shoulder, chest, drop slow, again. One and two, and one and two. Other side, we have shoulder, chest, drop, shoulder, chest, drop. Two more times, one and two, and one and two. Last thing, when you're practicing, um, it's okay to first break it down so you can go shoulder, chest forward, down, but as soon as you have the order of things down, connect everything. So do everything in slow motion and kind of let those three different parts, three different layers of this movement merge together. With music, it will look much better. I'll show you in a second. Take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 nah. For this last movement, I also want to do something uh, fairly basic. We're going to dip with the hips. Um, so the dip is just like a smooth, side to side motion. Again, perfect for if you're wearing heels, you're very stable in this one. And we're going to do a little triple dip. So we're going to start to one side, start with the weight shifted the other way, and we're going to go this way. We have down, up, down, up, down, up, and then you step after this. So we only do three. Then you switch directions. We'll start the other way. We have dip, dip, dip. See, super basic. Let's repeat it. One, two, three. Other way, one, two, three. We're going to use our hands. You don't have to do anything extra with them. We're just going to hold them or keep them on the thighs as you're dipping. So let's try that. Dip, dip, dip. And allow them to move, meaning they don't stay put like this, straight and stiff but uh, one can go lower, one hand gets lower, one is higher. You can just do something smooth like that. And then the other thing we're going to add is changing levels. So remember we are doing three dips. With each one, you're going to be getting lower, okay? But not too low, we're not doing squats. We're going to do one, two, three, come up and start over. One, two, three and up. So I'm not going too low with this. You're gradually changing levels. One, two, three. You want to keep the movement small. The most important thing is to make this movement continuous, meaning you don't want to um, make it choppy. It's not about the knee bend. It's about drawing that U shape with your hips. So make sure everything is nice and connected there. All right, starting with the first one, knees bend, take. Let's just do the hips, the arms. We have one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Keep it small. Hands on ties. I let my heart bleed on my sleep through microphones. I'm trying to write my wrongs. By writing out my wrongs. Ran through a check because it's hard to live off. Man, you can bring the arms out. Yeah, yeah, let me know. Because it ain't the end of times yet. I don't know, but it's getting close. Yeah, I need my again. That's why I be going ghost. I ain't trying to stay up on that wide road. Because I can't let him take my soul. Whatever is comfortable. So either arms here, up and down, 
or nothing, just keep them bent. Okay, let's do the second move. We're going to go shoulder, chest, down. For this movement, we're not following the beat, it's down to the melody, so you can go as slow as you want. And the last one, our dip. One, two, three, come up. If you'd like to learn more movements like this one, and if you'd like to become confident dancing in front of other people, if you'd like to learn with a proven step-by-step -step system that already has helped thousands of students just like you, beginners and comfortable dancing in social settings, go from avoiding the dance floor to thriving when it comes to dancing in the club, at parties, at weddings, we can work together inside my online program, Confidence Through Dance. It helps students, for example, like Taylor, go from not knowing how to express herself, how to freestyle to the music she loves, to looking like this in just a matter of weeks. Or students like Monica, who went from very uncomfortable dancing, stiff, not enjoying herself when dancing in social settings, to able to enjoy dancing. And now she looks like this. Feel free to book a free consultation with me below this video. I'll post the link there. Make sure you apply and hopefully we can get you dancing. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any. And I'm going to see you in my next tutorial. Bye guys. I've lost you, but I need you, and you're off my freedom.